26 now, the final moments of the partisan impeachment of the 45th president of the United States. As much as Chuck Schumer and company attempting to drag out this political assault on President Trump and the Article II branch of government, it appears that they are failing and the Constitution is winning. However, that doesn't mean that the House impeachment managers are not going down without a fight. Okay, so now what? Well, the Democrats have got what they wanted, right? They can now run around the country saying two things. One, that Donald Trump is an impeached president, as Nancy Pelosi says, forever. And two, that key U.S. senators, Republican, in key races, didn't want a so-called fair trial. But how does President Trump emerge from all of this? Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Nussbaum. Barry, you know, I, we get some emails here from folks who claim to be Democrats. And these emails say, you know what, I'm disgusted by what I've seen by the Democrats in the House of Representatives and in the United States Senate. I don't know. You take those with a pound of salt. I don't know if they're accurate. I don't know if they're actually Democrats, but I think some of them might be factual. It's anecdotal. Okay, that said... I think that there are X amount of Democrat voters who are turned off by all this. And then we look at the independent voters. I think we know where the Republican voters are. The independent voters are going to look on Election Day, November 3rd. They're going to look at their 401ks and their IRAs, and I think they're going to vote that way. The polls tell me you're 100 percent right, Graham. Um, a few responses. First of all, Nancy Pelosi is wrong. To be impeached is to be accused. And then the trial is in the Senate. And uh, if you're not convicted in the Senate, you don't get to be called accused. You get to be called found not guilty. And that's what will be his legacy. Now, how is the country responding? In every single poll that's in this week, in all areas, Trump has never been better than today prepared for November 2020. Uh, his approval ratings are the highest. The happiness with the economy has never been higher. The happiness with employment numbers have never been higher. And get this, head to head against every single Democrat candidate, no matter who they're checking on, Trump wins. Now, why is that? Because the country is tired of this and they realize it's been partisan. That is against the wishes of the framers. Remember what they talked about in the Federalist Papers, they were very clear, the founders, the wise men that they were in the 18th century, never ever let it be partisan. Because if it is, it'll be weaponized in every election. And that's what the American people have seen. If Republicans are not crossing the aisle, it's partisan. And that is what we have today. It is, as Donald Trump says, a witch hunt. The Dems don't like him. They know they can't beat him in November. Let's get rid of him first so he can't even run. And I think that X amount of Americans, and I think that there's a, this is a majority number, are sick of the Trump derangement syndrome. I think there's X amount, a smaller number, that are energized because of their political ideology by Trump derangement syndrome. But I think you're right. I think you hit the nail on the head. There's another poll that stands out to me, Barry, and that is, do you like the direction of the country right now, and that is at one of the highest levels it's been in many, many years. Bodes very well. Only got about 30 seconds left, Barry, but as it pertains to the Democrat candidates running for president, here's how I think it's going to unfold. I think that the president is going to, by the way, they're all on the record supporting impeachment, right? So I think the president's going to use this as a badge of honor. He's going to make fun of Joe Biden and, and the rest of them trying to get rid of him because, again, they couldn't do it the legitimate way at the ballot box. They had to take him on. I think it's going to be fodder for the president. If Joe Biden is the nominee, he's toast because his name and his son's name have come up uh, several hundred times in the trial. People heard it and they will remember. Regarding the other candidates, I think they've got a problem, Graham, because you're right. America cares about what's in their pocketbook, what's on the table, what happens in employment. And in all categories, every category polled, this president is at his all-time peak. And 
favorability numbers on certain issues are yeah. the highest they've been in decades. It is hard to beat a president who's rolling in on that kind of bulldozer. And unless something happens that we don't know about, right. between now and November, you can inaugurate him again November 2020 after that election. As Americans vote with their pocketbooks, and I think that the Republicans hold the slim majority in the Senate, and as far as the House, I think it's a toss-up now at this point. Very thankful.